Hello everyone, welcome to Data Extraction 101 series where I will demonstrate you how to extract Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations data into Azure SQL database. And this is basically to show you that you can push data into an Azure environment from Dynamics 365 FNO and using a feature called BYOD, bring your own database. And how it looks is like this. So we have FNO instance, and pushing data into Azure SQL database the, using this built-in feature. And once you have that in Azure SQL database, obviously you can use such as Data Factory to move data into Data Lake and other places. But I'm not gonna cover uh, this part on this video. I have actually had created a video before, which I will uh, give you the link uh, on the top right of this video and uh, feel free to go ahead and have a look and before we go on to the, de the demo I just want to mention a few things uh, this is going to export an entity which is effectively a number of tables uh, combined together uh, and that that's called entity in finance and operations there is also a term called aggregate entities which is a collection of entities uh, merged together, but that's not what we talked about here, just an entity collection of tables. And this feature has been GA since August, 2016. So it's been proven, I would say. All right then, let's get to the demo. Now, welcome to Azure portal. And I'm already in my resource group uh, that I just created with uh, a SQL database here. And just to show you in Azure Data Studio, when I view this database, there is no table, uh, just to show you that. Now, I also have a finance and operations uh, sandbox environment here for testing. Now, first thing first, uh, let's get the connection string of this database. And what you do is you go to that database, you click connection string, and you just copy this other.net SQL authentication one. And back to finance and operations. And what you go to is modules, and you go down and click system administration. Click data management. Now, there are two steps here to export entity into SQL database. You first set the schema export, and secondly, you then export the content of that uh, entity. Now first, let's configure, uh, let's do the schema first. You go to configure entity export, and create a new connection. I'll just call it that. You paste that connection string you just got, put your Make sure you have the right user ID there, and I'm just going to type my SQL Server password. And click Validate. It will throw you an error, because that uh, uh, this Dynamics is not allowed to access a server. So what you do is you copy that IP address. You go back to SQL Server. And you go to firewalls and future networks here on the left. And you want to add that IP. Just call it FO. And save. Now from here, uh, if you go back and you validate again. There you go. Now is successful. Um, you want to, you can use the cluster cluster column store index if it's um, a SQL database premium. Otherwise, you can't. So I'm just gonna shut it off now because I don't have that. And once you have this uh, test successful completed, so you can go to publish, and you have the list of entities here that you can export. I'm just gonna choose one here and click publish. Uh, it's gonna take a bit of time. And while waiting for that, if you are interested in incremental load, uh, 
from Dynamics. You can do that by using this change tracking option. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail uh, into that. I'll, I'll share you a link in the description below so you can read further what this means. Uh, at the moment, I'm not using that, so it's a full load. Um, and it just said that the successful in publish, but to show publish only. There you go. That is published. So the schema has been published. So if I go back, refresh that table, now I have this one. Uh, bear in mind that Dynamics always exports table or entity in DBO schema. So uh, make sure you have that uh, in your database. And when I select anything, it will have no records because I just uh, I only exported the schema. Try that again. There you go. There's nothing here. Now let's export some data. So you want to go back to data manage. I have happen to have this in my favorite. And once you have done that, you want to click export here. And I'm just going to test again. Um, BYOB test. And I'm just going to click search for that same entity. Target data format. Now you need to choose the one that you just created here. RABYOD is mine. And I'm going to choose full post. If you didn't turn on the change tracking, uh, you cannot use the incremental post. And you want to add that. And once that's done, uh, you can obviously add more entities and export at one go. Or even you can create a recurring job. So you can do a schedule there. Uh, and But that's just uh, something that you can explore. Uh, now export. get this execution summary page and there we go uh, I have got 62 records when I go back and I select again there you go now I have some data this is all dummy data and that's it uh, that's how you export Dynamics 365 finance and operations into Azure SQL database and as always, uh, if you like this video, press thumbs up and subscribe for more future videos about Azure and data uh, in particular. Thank you. Have a good day.